first thing that I like to do every single morning is meditate for 10 to 12 minutes usually. Meditation has actually just like changed my life. I feel like when you meditate in the morning and on your own time, then when you're in stressful situations during the day, it's actually so much easier to focus your brain. Meditation is just detaching your brain from your thoughts and I suck at it, honestly. Like I constantly get distracted, but that's the whole point. Meditation is done. I'm gonna begin my little like, five to ten minute Bible study. I wish I did a longer Bible study in the morning, but my main priority is to make sure that my Bible is the first thing that I'm consuming as my part of my day. And that is not like a strict religious rule or anything, but I personally just try to make sure that I'm consuming the Word of God before I'm consuming anything else because it helps me like habit stack. If I'm like, oh, I can't do this until I do this, like I will always make sure I do this. And it just helps me personally make sure it gets done. It's not a chore or anything, but it is a priority that can oftentimes just be skipped. And I don't want to let that happen. So as you guys can see, I like to do a lot of this like meditation, Bible study, journaling stuff. My morning routine used to not be like this. It kind of was like this at the beginning of my self-development journey, but then like I thought that it was like fluffy and a waste of time. I mean, I never skipped a Bible study, but like I honestly like was in a journaling rut for a while. My brain moves really fast and I just told myself, oh, I don't need a journal because like it's just going to take so long to write stuff down. Like I'll just type, you know, but honestly, I feel like the whole point of journaling is slowing your mind down and like being okay with journaling taking a long time like on the daily I journal just a gratitude list literally bullet points but then when I'm like really struggling I will like journal about how I'm feeling in the past I've been very like positive thinking that like I really felt like I couldn't talk about what I was struggling with but honestly like I think I feel so much better getting that stuff out I am grateful for my YouTube channel. I love you guys. I'm really grateful for the subscribers I text. If you guys want to text me, by the way, my phone number is 617-404-9641. And every single week on Sundays at 9 a.m. EST, I send you guys a productivity newsletter. It's basically what I've been up to, the lessons I've been learning, and productivity tips for high school students. So if you're a high achiever student just like me, <laughs> you will want to receive those, trust me. For my deep work session today, I think I'm just going to like study standardized tests. So I'm gonna do like 25 minutes of SAT reading comprehension because yesterday I did one and I got six out of 11 correct I think it was just because I was in a crowded environment. I don't know I'm gonna just see is it because I was unfocused when I did it or is it because I genuinely need reading help <laughs> after the SAT studying I'm going to do 25 minutes of APCSA So that's like Java for my computer science class because I have my AP test coming in a couple of months And then I have an AP Mandarin test coming up and I recently got the textbook in the mail this is a class that i'm taking on my own but this should prepare me well and i'm asian so <laughs> it shouldn't like i should be able to do well with just some extra studying like i'm not the best at mandarin let's get started Currently listening to an audiobook from Audible as I'm getting ready for school. I typically am always listening to one book on Audible and then I'm reading a couple books on my own. But I highly recommend just like filling your brain with something that's engaging, that's going to teach you something new. I feel like a lot of people complain about the education system, but then they don't actually educate themselves with things that are valuable outside of the school system. I really highly recommend doing that every single morning. I just like, I'm in a really good mood because I'm listening to stuff that I'm passionate about and then it just makes like going to school so much easier because I'm not like oh I have to go to school like learn all this stuff because I'm already like accepting the fact that I'm gonna do that but I'm like I'm gonna go find stuff that I'm passionate about outside of school gonna change into like this all black outfit pretty athletic for the day because I want to wear something that's gonna be comfortable I'm gonna do some of my makeup and I don't really know what I'm gonna do with my hair honestly like I think it's okay to be casual at school but I really want to radiate like elegance more and the way I 
present myself. And I feel like it's very not elegant to show up to school with like sweatpants. That's just objectively like it's not elegant. I'm not saying like you shouldn't do that and like I do that, okay? But I'm trying not to. But also it depends on what environment you're in. Like I feel like it's fine for school. Today has been a very idealistic picture of what my morning routine looks like because recently I have been struggling with consistency and waking up early. I feel like I've been giving myself a hard time about it, but at the same time, I feel like I should be hard on myself about this because I'm clearly like, I want to wake up at 5 a.m. every day on the first alarm. An emphasis on the first alarm. I just don't want to be a snoozer. Like, I feel like every single time we snooze our alarms, we're not following through the promises that we made to ourselves the night before. And I just feel like it's very, like, destructive to your confidence. To me, confidence is following through on the promises you make to yourself. So it just feels like I'm lying to myself every single day when I snooze my alarm. And these past few days, I've just really been feeling like I don't even trust myself anymore. So last night, I was like, I'm literally waking up at 5 a.m. Like, I'm not letting anything get in the way of that. Like, I just don't even think this is a case where I should, like, be easy on myself because it's not about how early I wake up to me, but it's just about following through on that promise. I don't know, but I really just want to have a routine where I go to sleep relatively at the same time every single day of the week, and I wake up relatively at the same time. It's not even toxic productivity. It's just, like, I want to have a consistent routine for my own mental health. Okay, my rant is over. I'm gonna walk to school today, and I'm really excited for it. I've been trying to, like, walk more, and I watched this YouTuber, and he's like, literally, like, go outside, touch a leaf. Like, grab your favorite leaf from your walk and take it home. There's just, like, small things that I feel like we as Gen Z don't really do anymore, and I want to get back into it. I'm really curious to hear, how do you guys feel about school? I feel like the general sentiment is, like, people don't like high school, but I don't know. Like, if you love school, like, please let me know. I, like, if given the choice, I wouldn't go to school. Like, I think I used to hate high school, but I really found ways to make it a lot better. I was telling you guys that are part of my text newsletter group, so if you want to join, 617-404-9641, just text me, but you're literally missing out because <laughs> Um, I was telling you guys that so many times it's like really hard to find like-minded people at school I would agree with that not everyone's like into their self-development and productivity That's for sure a thing, but I think it's a lot easier than we like to tell ourselves There are like these little niche pockets of people in school like people that you just haven't talked to that are into their self-improvement Maybe in like a different way Okay Aww. Hi, chubby. I just realized that I totally forgot to vlog my breakfast, but I do eat before school. Every single morning I have my protein shake. It's just protein powder and water. And I also have like a bagel and other stuff, but like my school lunch has like zero protein. So I really like to load it up before I go to school. 